I know what you guys are thinking right now. Is she really here? Did she really just do a YouTube video? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I am back from, from life. <laughs> I am back adulthood. You know, it's very, very busy. As I'm, I'm sure some of you may know. And, and I'm here. I'm here right now and I'm happy to be here with you guys making this video, which is one of my favorite type of videos to make. I love sharing with you guys some of my favorite products, things that I have been trying and I haven't done one of these. I feel since like probably last year in like January or even 2019, I haven't done one of these. I'm pretty sure it's been that long. And to be honest, there was a point that I stopped trying new stuff because I am living off a very tight budget now. This reporter salary is not what you may think it is. So, you know, I have to be a little bit more choosy and picky when it comes to buying stuff and what I want to try and risk it, not liking it or and this and that. So, so yeah, so that, that has been an issue, but I still love trying stuff and sharing with you guys my experience and especially when there's something that I really like and I feel like others can benefit from it as well. Happy to try it, happy to share it with you guys. So today I am sharing some very random stuff. It ranges from beauty, skincare, to laundry, kitchen, random, drink, and just complete random stuff <laughs> I just threw together and it's been stuff I've been loving um, so I, I put it like into little categories so we're gonna go little by little to each one and yes again I thank you guys for joining me once again and let's jump to it so first up is beauty some of my beauty secrets all right so let's start with I think I've shared this with you guys. That has been like my favorite color. Actually, no, because I had another one that I've been using for a while and I, have been sh I did share with you guys. I don't know if it was Too Faced or Tarte. I don't remember what it was, but it's like a little nice pale pink that I love it. I'll find it and I'll put it here, whatever. So I still love that lipstick. But now this is my new favorite, which is Coco K from Kylie Jenner. This lip combo bomb. So this is what I wear on TV all the time. I just love the pink color. It's just looks so nice. I'm actually wearing it right now. I love it. But right now I actually did. Um, so sometimes I, because it brings the lip kit, obviously brings like the lip pencil. But I tend to sometimes line it like a lip contour type of thing with like a nude lip pencil. And the one I've been using, I think it's nude one from kim kardashian not sure kkw beauty but this together because these two shades are just like exactly the same so i like to go in with a nude to contour and then probably use this a little bit more on the outskirts uh, uh, like on the outskirts of the lips and then of course the lipstick and i don't know why but like the formula in these lipsticks are just so good like it is so hard to take off that lipstick after like that's how hardcore it is on your lips and very 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 long lasting which i love so coco k kylie lip kit love it now this is a beauty secret for those out there who work outside in an extreme heat weather very hot and you know you find yourself with your foundation like slipping off your face because it's just that hot outside and and yeah i lost my train of thought there <laughs> so if you work outside and you are having struggles with your makeup your foundation with the hot weather um sweating it off and just like literally like feeling it slip off zimba shh well this can be your lifesaver so as a reporter since i'm always working out in the field and first we got to put makeup on real quick because there is no time so foundation anything that is liquid can be messy or can be timely can take a while 
and obviously when it's hot it's just that water based foundation just doesn't always work for us especially you start getting creased up and stuff so whatever so this the makeup forever foundation but the powder form guys this is game changer this is so good so good this is called matte velvet skin y305 is the shade that i use it's a little beat up because that's how much i use it um so yeah so it's exactly what it is it's foundation but it's in velvet powder form um so it's it's just so good and by itself it's good and even putting this on top of like foundation if you're looking for that heavy caked up flawless look putting your whatever foundation you have on under i mean i like to use the makeup forever one though this one but if you were to use i mean i don't know how it works with another one but like when i pair it up it looks nice so i use that and then i put this on top and it's like having a filter on your face like it's just flawless it looks so good but that's for more heavy makeup kind of days not for being out in the streets reporting taking pictures and doing all i gotta do out there so for those days gotta be fast and this works really good i can be sweating and the makeup still looks good and even if let's say there's a side there's like a little like creased up or whatever take out the little thing just do what i gotta do and that's it looks great and it looks great on camera so i really recommend it my other product is this little naked palette so if you know me i'm not really big on eyeshadow because i'm more of like working fast and just you know throwing on something on my face and calling it a day but for those out there who do have to do you know your eyes frequently or really into it but are always on the go again mostly for reporters or something i really recommend this little palette i'm trying to open it it doesn't open why doesn't open it right now oh there we go this little palette and it's so cute it has great shades i actually used it the other day for a photo shoot um and my eyes look so nice so the shades are really good really good quality and it's so compact it's so tiny and small you can fit anywhere for emergencies it is great all right so that's all i have for beauty right now because i haven't been like trying so much new foundations concealers no i'm um, still using the same thing shape tape make a forever foundation the same little bb cream that i like so that's that so let's get into skincare now there was a point <laughs> there was a point i had been sharing with you guys like all the oils and stuff i was using so all of a sudden i don't know what happened to my face i don't know what oil was like i don't know what happened my face got i don't want to say destroyed i'm exaggerating but it wasn't the texture it wasn't quite nice how it should be and i started getting like a lot of little bumps and like very like dry and irritated i don't know what it was so i completely stopped everything that i was using all the oils before bed the hyaluronic acid the vitamin c everything everything i paused everything and i just started using a this face wash and this cream before bed that's literally all i did for i want to say it's been like a good three to four months this is the only thing i have been using in my face the CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser which i'm sure you guys have seen everywhere and the CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion pm if you're one who doesn't like like oil or like sticky stuff in your face which at one point i didn't like it but then i got used to it when i started putting a lot of oils and stuff but the texture in this lotion is just so like nice and soft that and it's drying like it dries up fast so you don't feel like sticky or nothing in your face it's really thin it's really thin really really like it before bed so using these two products for like that time being my face got so good it just went like completely like back to normal it's crazy i don't i really want to know i don't know what of the products that i was using like made it react that way I, I never figured it out and then i've been too scared to like trying to go back to what i was using to see what was a hit or miss but i just i've been scared to do that so just i haven't done it 
but with these two products that that's it before bed like these two products in my face has gotten so nice and yeah so then recently i started using and trying the pm the am version which is this one and since the am version does have spf it is kind of like you know when you put a spf and it's like kind of whitish and like a little thicker type of thing yeah it's kind of like that so i'm not a fan i feel like i need to use it a little bit more to see if i get used to it but that's the only i, li I literally bought it last week so i haven't like put it to use as much but that's one thing i don't like about it but spf it's very important we all need it and i'm figuring that out i'm getting that and understanding that right now especially since i have so much white spots on my arms that i'm trying to get rid of so i'm understanding the importance of spf for face and body so i know that even if i don't like it i gotta get used to it and talking about spf i bought this one again i just started using it last week so i don't know if it's good i don't necessarily want to say i recommend this product because i just started using this so I, i'm not sure um but it is like spf my hands do stay like a little like that whitish color after I use it so uh, not a fan but i gotta use it i gotta use it because these hands these arms are just they weren't doing so good so i gotta put it to use but these two yes these two i have been using for a while great products i don't know if i'll ever like stop using them because it's been the holy grail for me so for a while i was using the which i'm sure a lot of us use the neutrogena like face wipes the little blue bag i think that kind of destroyed my face and it started getting bumps too and i think that was probably one of the problems that was you know adding fuel to the flames of my bad skin and yeah so i stopped using that and i've been using this garnier i think i forgot what it's called the garnier micellar cleansing water whatever so this has been really good with my skin taking off my makeup i just used the little cotton pads and boom recommend it no breakouts nothing takes everything off i love it now hair products which i feel like i've never really spoken about hair products because i'm not really big with hair like it's just it's just there it's just one of those things that it's just there but when it comes to doing like waves and making like finding like a like a hairspray that holds the texture i've never really liked like those hardcore ones that when you touch it it's like crispy and it's like hard you understand when you have the curls and they're like crispy curls i don't like that so of course quay qui way how do you say this all right so i guess you pronounce it way 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 you guys got the point <laughs> so this is the miracle to hold my waves i have very thin hair so when i do want that wavy look this holds it it smells fabulous it smells expensive because it is so yeah this is the magic to hold them waves without being crispy this is this one's a funny story okay this is the alter alt crystal number 23 so this is a perfume so there was one day i was watching a video of like another youtuber or whatever and she was like going through perfumes and then it was like based on zodiac so i think it was kathleen light's video and then she she mentioned like for scorpios like the smell is the baccarat rouge whatever how I, I hope i'm pronouncing it right baccarat the baccarat rouge i'm gonna put a video a picture here you guys are gonna know what perfume i'm talking about and she's like oh the perfect knockoff to that expensive because that perfume is very expensive is this one that also i was like hmm let me try it out and to be honest guys like i've never <laughs> smelled the baccarat rouge like i don't know how the perfume smells like i've been wanting to smell it but for some reason when i've gone to like to like sax or like name it or whatever like i just i always forget about it i haven't like gone to the perfume section to just look for this perfume um so so i was like all right whatever she's recommending it let me go ahead and try it. <laughs> guys 
I don't know how it smells. Like, I wish I knew how the other one smells so we can compare it. But, like, this smells, like, so sweet. Like, I like sweet smells. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I'm, I don't hate it. But it kind of smells cheap. Like, at first, when I opened it, I was like, ooh, like, this is not good. And then once I already had it, I was like, okay, I got to put it to use because I, I wasted my money on it. So now I just like literally put it on my wrist and then boom, go on my day. But like on the top, I'll put like Alien or something or Gucci, whatever I have. But then every time I go somewhere, like someone always, someone around me, like I'm working, it's literally like during working time. Someone always says, wow, something smells good. And then I ask, does it smell sweet? Like, yeah, it smells really sweet. Like it's a very distinctive smell. I'm like, it's me. <laughs> People pick up the scent so much, like it is crazy and it lasts on your skin a long time. But it's just so funny to me, like the whole story behind it because I've never even smelled Baccarada Rouge. Like I don't know how that perfume smells, but I hope it doesn't smell like this. But it's just funny because it's such a like, it's a knockoff, it's a cheap perfume and like people smell it. People really smell it. So it's just really, really funny. Um, so I don't know if I want to say that this is my top favorite. I wanted to throw it in this video because it's just kind of funny. Um, but yeah, if you like a sweet smell, let me let me start over this. If you like the smell, like very sweet, canty smell, you'll like this. <laughs> All right, next off, if you know me, you know I love self tanners. And one of my recent favorites that I have been loving and have been using nonstop. And by nonstop, I mean every time I'm going to go to like the beach or something or like a special occasion, not every single day type of thing. Because I got to take care of my very sensitive skin. Is this one, the Dripping Gold. Let me put it closer. So suit, a Dripping Gold. Luxury Tan Ultra Dark Muse. Super good. I get it off of Amazon, but they also sell it off their website. But I guess Amazon has like faster shipping. So I just get it from there. I put it on with my little mitt. Been in and guys, quality A1. The color gives you so good. Long lasting. I love it. And it has like really good stuff. Um, let me see if I find what it has. Because I know it has some good stuff. All right, now I don't know. I know I had like, oh, there we go. We got vitamin A, vitamin E, hyaluronic acid, chamomile, good stuff. So I recommend it. All right. And ladies, you know, we got to take care of that hair, that skin and nails. So hair, skin and nails, gummies, super good. I recently started using, it's already been like probably a month. So I don't know. I can't say I've seen like a difference yet, but, but. If you have a sweet tooth and you don't want to like snack on something else, two of these will do the trick. <laughs> All right, next. For those out there who want some energy, don't want to always have to depend on coffee, but need that caffeine either to work out or to go to work and focus and be extra wired i recommend celsius i'm so like eating my thing honestly like i really have to be sponsored by them already because i am always hyping them up especially when i'm at work really really love it tastes good has some good stuff that i like so reporters out there if you need a little pick me up and don't want to have to depend on caffeine or coffee or that starbucks every day I recommend some Celsius in your life. My hard working adults out there. <laughs> Whoever does laundry. Guys, this is so good. Like this smells so good for your laundry. These are like the little balls that you throw when you're gonna do laundry for your clothes to smell good. Mm, it's like, it's Old Spice. So you can imagine already what it smells like. It smells like men, all your bed sheets, your clothes is always gonna smell A1. So good. You definitely need to use this to wash your clothes. And now, another random thing I got right here. So, for those out there who love to cleanse like the area, kill off the bad vibes, make it very zen, 
clean off your crystals light up an incense here and there and like the smell of palo santo i love these they are so good i get them at whole foods um they have like other ones on, on um, amazon or whatever but i buy these specifically i like the smell and whole foods yes love to burn these especially at the end of the week or at the beginning of the week to kill off them bad vibes bring in some good energy for whole new blessed up week yes love 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 these All right my last item i have like a little stuffy nose Ugh, last item very random one so for those of frequent travelers out there who just throw your jewelry in like a random little bag which that was me that was me before i had this and then everything ended up you know either tangled or a different color because they were just like old and cheap whatever the jewelry you had this is so clutch this is a little traveling thing you have to put your earrings here you can put your necklaces here so they don't get tangled up it has little pockets more here this is so clutch and i actually have the version of like the toiletry is it toiletry like the hygiene products to put it in so i'm gonna put a picture i have it in the bathroom but it's a hot mess in there so i'm not gonna take that bag out right now but i'm gonna put a picture like link it here it is so good too so you guys can like be very organized when you travel i'm all about that and yeah so guys i hope you enjoyed some of these products um they've definitely been my favorites this month or for the past good year <laughs> past good year they've been my favorites um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions if you have any thoughts on that um alt perfume <laughs> and if you could tell me <laughs> if it actually smells like baccarat or not um that'll be helpful maybe i, I want to know if it's just like my sense of smell that i just find it like too like uh, or too repugnante or if it's just like that i don't know but yeah guys just let me know down below don't forget to follow and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye